Mike, you've seen this kid before. Did he help himself today, or did you, how, how did he do today in your estimation? Yeah, and I think we get too carried away in the media talking about quarterback pro days. Mm -hmm. So, especially with a big arm quarterback like this kid, you know, he's special for, with arm talent. Mm -hmm. So I think what he wanted to show today that he's been working on his footwork, which is really, I try to tell people all the time, when your feet and your eyes are connected, you're a pretty good quarterback, mm -hmm. okay? And his feet weren't always connected. And he, he's an overstrider, tall guy with an overstride. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, your spine angle changes and all these bad things happen. He's been working with Jordan Palmer and what I saw today, what I wanted to see, way more consistent with his footwork and way more consistent with his accuracy. The big question is when you put shoulder pads and helmets on and 11 people on the other side, do those habits remain consistent? Mm -hmm. I know this is kind of unique for a Laramie <coughs> day like today. I guess from your end, where does this By the way, it's to... not kind of unique. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's either unique right, or it isn't. There's no, my my father was a teacher. He, he drilled <laughs> that in my head. Uh, I guess from your angle, is it, yeah. uh, where does this compare to maybe some of the you know, places that you've gone to see players? Is this, from your angle, also yeah. pretty unusual to be out at maybe su such a small venue like Wyoming? Look, I love this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like when Carson Wentz came out and I was at North Dakota, mm -hmm. you know, and I was taking pictures of the curling arena across the street <laughs> and sending it to me. It, it, this was awesome, and I, Craig Bowl does a great job here. I took a walk through the new facility, and I was blown away. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what you offer here was as good as anything I see at LSU or any of those kinds of things, and you have to put it in perspective. I'm at Alabama, LSU, Penn State. I go to all the, you know, the major pro days, Clemson. The facilities here are great. I thought the kid put on a show. I thought the people showed away, and this is the, the common denominator kind of with North Dakota State, the people. You know, the coaches, the fans. You guys love your football, and you have an appreciation for it, and it's really cool. So, Mike, I know you're not one drafting him, but where do you think Josh Allen fits into this mix with Darnold and Rosen well, and everyone with, else? What do you with, think? With, with my my perspective is because of the intangibles. Well, I want I want to learn what kind of kid he was. Mm -hmm. I know what his physical talent and skill set is, right? You want to know what kind of kid he is, and over time, what he's going to grow into or not, mm -hmm. right? So, I'm at a point where I feel like I've got a comfort level with not just the football player, but the kid. And I believe he's gonna be a top five pick, I really do.